Hudson of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. by Li Ying, Bob Gilmore, and the Hong Kong police, Speed, Clint, and Barney have arrested the larger part of the octopus gang after a desperate battle in Dr. Kingsley's home. The octopus himself, however, and Quan Wu, his lieutenant, have hidden themselves in a secret passage adjoining the passage through which the criminals first gained entrance to the house. The octopus plans to flee to his underground hangar as soon as the search has died down and fly to his headquarters in Tibet with his fleet of planes. The passage in which he has sought safety leads into one of the bedrooms, and it is in this same bedroom that we find the three boys, exhausted by what has happened during the past few hours, snatching some sleep, preparatory to continuing the search for the octopus. Barney, in particular, is sleeping hard and loud. like a tiger in the dark. What's a kitten doing in our room, anyhow? Why don't it stay with Jean where it belongs? I don't want to be bitten by a kitten. Oh, Shay, pipe down and you'll arouse the house. The one you didn't bring the police up here as it is, the way you're yelling for help. Oh, a tiger. Huh? <laughs> Poor Muffin. You scared her, Barney. Here, yeah, Muffin. Nice kitty. I scared her. I didn't go up to her in the dark, meowing in her ear and rubbing up against her while she was dreaming of the octopus. <laughs> well, put the cat out, Speed, so Barney can relax. <clears throat> you know, kittens are so dangerous. Okay. Uh, I think you're funny, don't you? Well, I don't. I might as well stay up the rest of the night for all the sleep I'm getting. Even the cats won't let a guy rest around here. Come on, Muffin. How's to go? There. Cat's put out. <laughs> All right. I'll put out the light, too, and come to bed, Speed. Yeah, maybe we can go back to sleep unless Barney here mistakes a mosquito for an eagle. <laughs> uh, what's the <sighs> use? <sighs> Between night-walking cats and your wisecracks, I'm all out of the notion of sleeping. And what's more... I've got a hunch that the octopus is wandering around somewhere near us, too. And believe me, if he is, then we'd all better forget sleep. Keep your revolver ready when we step out of the secret passage, Quan Wu. We may find ourselves in the bedroom where the secret police are sleeping. I have no way of telling is it wise to run that a risk, Master? I must. We cannot stay in this passage forever. And tomorrow the search will be renewed. They may find the entrance and we would be trapped. Better to chance an escape in the dark. Take them by surprise. I never thought that the chase would come so close. That is because you did not know Clint Barlow. 
He is the only man who might possibly end my career. That is why I must end his first. You will seek to destroy your enemy, even though you are outnumbered at present, Master? If the opportunity arises, yes. For instance, if we come upon them asleep, I shall have my chance. Otherwise, if they are not in that room, we shall proceed to the underground hangar and fly to Tibet. Should the secret police attempt to follow me there, they will destroy themselves. <laughs> I shall be spared the trouble. Have we almost reached the end of the secret passage, Master? I believe so, Kwan Wu. You must be very, very careful. Make no more noise than necessary and have your revolver ready. Once out of the passage, we may have to run for it, fighting every inch of the way. Doggone. I can't sleep a wink ever since that kitten scared me. And that doggone wind ain't exactly a lullaby. Kind of scary sounding. Spade and Clint there, sleeping so peaceful. Just as if they were safe at home. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, the wind, I guess. I mean, I hope. Uh, oh. Gee, wished I had the kitten with me now. Kind of lonesome here in the dark with Speed and Clint sound asleep. Don't gun that creaking thing. Wish somebody'd oil it, whatever it is. Funny. <laughs> Don't do that, Clint. What the dickens you mumbling about, anyhow? I thought you was asleep. Mm, I was, until your monologue woke me up. What's the idea? Something's up, Clint. I can't sleep. And you know when I can't sleep, something's awful wrong somewhere. Uh, yeah, in your head something's wrong. You're just imagining things. No, I ain't. Hear that wind? Yeah, and what's wrong about that? Wind can't bite you. It ain't only the wind. It's my hunch. And I've been hearing things. Ah, go to sleep, and then you won't hear them. And if you can't sleep, at least keep quiet so I can. Hey, hey, hear that? That's what I mean. Uh, That's nothing, you sap. Probably a loose shutter someplace around the house. I wish that was all that's loose around this house. Oh, well, forget it and go to sleep. Hey, who's walking someplace? Uh, What? Hear them footsteps? You're right, Bonnie. There's two of them. Two guys, by the sound. And they're coming this way. Yes, but they're not out in the hall. And they're not overhead. Where the dickens are they? Clint, they wouldn't be the octopus and Quan Wu in the secret passage, would they? They've stopped. It sounds like them, Bonnie. Get ready for action. I'm going to awaken speed. I knew this was going to happen. Of all places in this big house for a secret passage to come out, it'd have to be the room we're sleeping in. Oh, speed. Speed. Hey, wake, wake up, Speed. Uh, uh, Clint? What's wrong? I, I think the octopus and Quan Wu are near. The passage they hid in must end in this room. This room? Yeah. Listen to them. They're talking things over. Oh, come on, quick. We haven't much time. Put the pillows under the cover so it'll look like we're still in our beds. Like this, Clint? Yeah, that's the idea. That's fine, Speed. Now, just a hump will do in this darkness. I don't think the octopus will stop to investigate who's in the room. Where are we going to be while these pillows are taking our place? Well, you take that corner over there, Barney, and I'll take this one by the light. From the sound of those footsteps, I'd say that the entrance of the passage is somewhere in this wall. So with you there and me here, well, we'll be sure to trap them as they come out of the wall. When I switch on the lights... Go to it, fellas. A surprise party, huh? Swell. Nobody I'd like to surprise more than that octopus guy. Where do you want me to be, Clint? On the floor over there by the door, Speed. This is one battle you're going to stay out of. Oh, Clint. Orders? Yes, sir. Guess they've made up their minds what they're going to do when they get out here. Come on, hurry up, Barney. Get over there to your corner. I never thought I'd play octopus in the corner. Will you get over there? All right, all right. And speed. Now you stay there by the door on the floor. Yeah, Clint. Quiet now. Quiet. Don't move or make a sound until I switch on the lights. 
They're almost here now. Check. Double check. Come, Guan Wu, and quietly. Someone is sleeping in here. Yes, Master. Wait here while I see who sleeps here. If it is the secret police, we can kill two birds with one stone. Yes, Master. Uh, Another move, move, Octopus. We've got you covered. So I see, Barlow. You were waiting for us, huh? Uh, Waiting a long time. Well, this is the end for you. Possibly. Oh, speed. Yeah, Clint? Go get uh, Lee Ying and his men. We don't need them yet, Clint. Let me tie these guys up myself. I'd love to go away from them, Bonnie. They're tricky. You've done enough as it is with that sneeze. I couldn't help it. That corner was drafty. Hey, Clint, look out. The octopus has something in his hand. Keep your hands up, octopus. Not a move. I wouldn't dare, Barlow, with the ace of secret police covering me so carefully. Papa. Yeah, hold your tongue, Juan Wu. Yeah, how'd you ever get loose from that staircase anyhow, Wu? How'd you ever get out of them handcuffs? <laughs> Uh, secrets, Barney. Oh, uh, still trying to be mysterious, huh, Octopus? Well, after this is all over, I'm going to meet you in some nice private jail yard and knock every secret you've got out of you. If you can. Listen to that. Uh, no, no, keep quiet, Barney. In one move, keep away from the Octopus. If you think to save him by shielding him with your own body while he escapes, you're badly mistaken. In the first place, he's not worth such a sacrifice. Take care of him, Barney. It's a pleasure, pal. And speed. You go call Lee Ying, as I've told you, and you, Octopus, I'll trouble you for your revolver. And whatever you're holding in that other hand... With pleasure, Clint Farlow. Look out! They're getting away! It's a gas bomb! Hold them! Oh! Hey, Bonnie! Bonnie, quick! Down on the floor! The Octopus has released a poison gas bomb! Down for the close of the floor! It's our only chance, I tell you! (laughs) 